here on this channel, we love 3D printing. We've used it in almost all of our builds, from the XJ650 to the GS250, even the Triumph Street Scrambler, we've just made a really cool tail tidy kit in the last video. Go and check that out if you haven't seen it already. Don't get me wrong, everything has its place, but 3D printing is such a fun way to make instant, quick, even finished parts for your motorcycle builds. And on this channel, we are all about the build. So join me in this video and let's see what Creality and their new flagship printer, the K1C, have brought to the table. So, I have always been a fan of the Creality printing line. I started with an Ender 3 that I got second hand and that served me really well. It was a really good printer for figuring things out and just entering the world of 3D printing. And then last year I moved on to the Ender 5 S1 and that thing blew my mind with how much faster and how much cleaner the prints were. And then we have this one, the K1C. This thing can print at phenomenal rates. Not only that, it can also do carbon fiber. These things here are game changing for any motorcycle builds because you can go from prototype to actually printing finished parts. So here's a quick rundown of some technical specs to get you started with this printer. It has a 220x220x250 build plate with an enclosed design creating a high temperature environment for your prints. It's got a tri-tip nozzle that they call the Unicorn, printing at 300 degrees C, controlled by a 4.3 inch touchscreen which I think is their best one yet. As mentioned, it can print carbon fibre filaments using their PLACF or their PETCF filaments. These can be printed at 300 millimetres per second, which is still lightning fast for a carbon fibre filament. You can control it by the mobile app and print directly from your phone. And to top it off, this whole thing can be set up within less than three minutes from box to printing. How cool is that? Now, the thing with this printer is, it is fast. And I mean, really fast. I'm talking 600 millimeters per second fast, and that's with their Hyper PLA. Now, the carbon fiber, a little bit slower, but it does have presets for 300 millimeters per second, which is ridiculous. For example, this little Benchy right here, this took 16 minutes to print, start to finish, and it is absolutely spot on. It looks great, there's not many layer lines, and overall, it's just very good quality. Even this button switch here I created, that took less than an hour to print. And that is with 60% infill to make it super strong and super rigid. Now I know some people are trying to speed run their printers and trying to get the fastest benchy possible. But at the end of the day, this is a flagship printer that is doing this reliably. This printer is actually printing at these speeds. Not only that, this has a built-in camera so you can keep an eye on your prints while you're gone, away from the workshop or wherever you need may be. You can look at it wirelessly. You can even send prints wirelessly if you want to. And as you can see, it's got its own enclosure, which means you can do prints like ABS that need to have proper controlled temperatures and all that kind of thing. But let's be honest, this print is doing what some of those really high level printers like the Ultimakers are doing, which have big, big price tags. And with this printer being a fraction of the cost, what can you really moan about? Honestly, this printer is already proving to be a solid workhorse in the workshop, making some really high quality parts that I'll be able to use, as well as rapid prototyping, and all round just going to be my go-to tool for making parts this year. If you wanna see what I'm using some of these parts for, tune in next week, we've got a brand new build on the way, and as always, I shall see you in the next video. Peace.